Hello and welcome back. My name is Dan from Icon Scout, and today I'm going to show you how you can install the Icon Scout plugin in the most popular design tools. In this video, we'll focus on Sketch, Adobe XD, Canva, and of course, Figma. But as you can see, we have a very interesting lineup of different tools where you can use the Icon Scout plugin. So let's start with Sketch. Select the Sketch, and over here, you can download the plugin, and it will download a zip file. So once it's download, just double click so we can unzip it. And you will see that we have the sketch plugin file. So this is very simple. Just double click, boom, there you go. So we hit okay. And then to run the plugin, you either can use the shortcut, command shift I, or just click over here. So once you click over there, you will see that there is a pop-up. And the only thing you need to do is to link you know, the plugin with your Icon Scout account. So we click over here, and again, it will open the web app. And the only thing you need to do is to click in Grand Access. There you go. So now you can see that the web app is linked to your plugin in Sketch. As simple as that. So if we come back, and you know, I will hit Shift Command I, you will see that we have you know, very similar walkthrough that we have in the installation of the desktop app. We hit next, next, login, login with web. Okay, great. So as you can see, now we have access to all the different assets that we have on the web app. So this is very, very convenient. Now let's move to install the plugin in Adobe XD. So for that, I will go to Adobe XD and over here, if you see in the bottom, you know, we can see the plugins that we have installed. So in this case, I can click here to discover more plugins. And right now I'm filtering the apps over here. So, you know, I just pick Adobe XD, but of course, if you would like to, you know, filter and add some other, you know, apps, so you still can click over here, but let's focus on Adobe XD. And over here, I can type icon scout. There you go. So we have Icon Scout and we hit install. Boom. We hit OK. We just wait for a while and we have the app installed. So we can say Open in XD. And as you can see, we have now the plugin over here. So we click on the Icon Scout plugin. Again, we have a small walkthrough. Next, next, and login. So again, we need to log in with the web. So we need to sync up our plugin from XZ with our account on the web. So over here, you know, it's asking to grant access, we accept. And now our plugin in XZ is sync up with our account on the web. So if we go back to Adobe XZ, as you can see over here, we have access to all the millions of assets that we have on the web. But not only that, actually the Icon Scout team, they were working so hard to bring drag and drop. So as you can see, I can select any of the 3D assets and boom, there you go. I have it right over here. So I would just make it, you know, smaller, just like this. And maybe we can replace it for this one. There you go. So this is really cool because now you can access either the icons the illustrations or 3D. And you know, it is more simple and easy because the only thing you need to do now is to drag and drop any of the elements. Okay, sweet. Now let's go back to Figma. So in Figma, you click here and you know, you just can go to community and over here you can look for icon scout and hit on plugins. So you hit install and that's it. Okay, so now let's go back to our file and over here, let's test it. So I will just right click, go to plugins and then look for Icon Scout. And again, it will open a pop-up and we have the similar walkthrough. So we hit next, next, let's go. And we have access to all the different files that we have on the web app. So now let's move to Canva. And over here, the process is very similar. 
So, you know, I would just come here to more. And as you can see, we have different apps. But, you know, let's go to the search bar and let's type Icon Scout. There you go. So we select Icon Scout and we select Use. Then we will hit Unconnect. And we have like a small pop up. It's telling me like, hey, you want to grant access? And you say, of course. And now everything is connected. And again, as you can see, we have access to all the different assets that we have from the web app. So this is really, really convenient. So that's it for the installation of the plugins. If you have any comments or questions, please let us know. And I will see you in the next part.